talk about Drake May and the New England Patriots. Drake May has now started the last two games for the Patriots. And I do believe that this kid can be a franchise quarterback with the New England Patriots. But he has a long, tough road ahead of him. And the Patriots as a whole. When I look at him versus Jacoby Brissett, he's already a better quarterback than Jacoby Brissett. In five games this season, Jacoby Brissett threw for two passing touchdowns to one interception. Drake May in two games, five passing touchdowns to two interceptions. And Drake May looked very good against the Jacksonville Jaguars, and he looked very solid against the Texans as well. It's a lot of bad on film, but it's a lot of good as well. I want to start off with a lot of missed throws that I saw on film because I'm about to hype this kid up in the next couple of minutes. You look at this throw right here against the Houston Texans. The wide receiver's wide open. It's a crossing route, but he misses him, and it goes for an interception. You could say this is a bad throw by Drake May, and it is, but he got very excited to see a wide receiver get open. He just has to tone down on that. Usually, a lot of rookie quarterbacks are able to make this throw, while some other rookie quarterbacks cannot. It just comes down to him just putting too much mustard on the football, and this was just a bad throw by Drake May, but a very good decision. And that's also another thing as well. He can see the field. He has benefited a lot from sitting behind Jacob Brissett for the first couple weeks of the NFL season. You look at this right here, the second throw. This is a great decision by Drake May. But if you lead the wide receiver more on the inside, this could possibly be a touchdown waiting to happen. But the, but the pass is right behind the wide receiver. He has to adjust for it. It's a great play by Drake May and the receiver. But you just want to lead him a little more on the inside. So you just lead him more out there. He can cut it up field. That can go for a passing touchdown. You look at this throw right here. He misses the running back in the flat. This is me nitpicking here. A lot of quarterbacks have missed his throw in the past. But you would like to see him make routine throws like this. Now, we got all the ugly out the way. I want to go to the real good moments. You look at this play right here, a 40-yard touchdown strike to Kayshawn on the outside going against Derek Stingley Jr. This is one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL with the Houston Texans, dominant defense that was getting after Drake May all day. He sees Kayshawn working one-on-one. -on -one. He throws the football. Now, on the surface, you can say that he got wide open, and he did. He got behind Derek Stingley Jr., but the ball placement was elite in this situation because he puts it to where only Kayshawn can get it. We've seen quarterbacks like Mac Jones and Cam Newton as well. When he came in for that season, they had a lot of missed throws throwing deep. This is an easy throw by NFL standards, but you like to see things like this from a rookie quarterback. These are also some other good plays as well. Look at the athletic ability to leave the pocket to get the play going to Hunter Henry that went for a huge game across the middle of the field. Mac Jones was not able to make this play. When you Talk about Drake May coming out of Carolina. These are the plays that you want to see. A young quarterback that can move outside the pocket, go on the run, throw across his body. This is just one of those small plays you can look at. But this gives you a lot of life if you are a Patriots fan because Jacob Brissett was not giving you this early in the season. You also look at this play as well. He escapes the pocket. He goes for a game. Jacob Brissett would rush himself into sacks and he would hold on to the football for too long. You look at Drake May. He has a clock. If the play is not there, he can go out there. He can extend the play or he'll just take off and leave as well. You know that play that I mentioned just a couple minutes ago where he did not lead the wide receiver in towards it, the red zone that could go for a touchdown? Well, he improved late in the fourth quarter, and he was getting beat up all day. Offensive line, one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL. He was getting hit and beat up a lot by the Houston Texans. He comes back late in the game, puts the ball right out there for the wide receiver, leaves him on the inside. This goes for a touchdown. You like to see these type of plays because he's improving drive by drive. That is what you like to see. Are there going to be some overthrows of Drake May? Yes. Are there going to be some bad moments this season? Yes, because this is a bad football team. But when you look at the small wins, those can lead up to big things for the Patriots. And I thought that this kid was going to sit all of his rookie season because this is not the ideal situation for any quarterback in the NFL. This offensive line is beat up. You don't have Cole Strange. You don't have David Andrews either. Those are two of your top offensive linemen, and they're both out right now dealing with injuries. And even when both of those guys were able to play, the offensive line has not looked good over the last couple of years with the New England Patriots. This is a brand new offensive coordinator as well with Alex Van Pelt, who was coming over from the Cleveland Browns. They do not have a clear-cut number one wide receiver. Demario Douglas, there's a lot there with him. I think that he can be a true number two. 
and possibly be a true number one in the next couple of years. Give him time to develop. These guys were not showing this type of ability underneath Jacob Brissett. And I'm not trying to throw him underneath the bus because you know what you have with Jacob Brissett. He's a bridge starter. He's a backup quarterback at best. But when you look, look at a guy like Demario Douglas, there's something there with him. I like Kayshawn a lot as well. They're not true number one wide receivers, but I do believe the Patriots should enter this year's draft class and try to get a guy like Travis Hunter who can play both sides of the ball, the defense and offense. If they don't want to go with a guy like Travis Hunter, go with a number one wide receiver in the NFL draft. I really wish that Calvin Ridley was on this team right now because I do believe right now Drake May and these last two games has shown that he can be a better quarterback than Will Levis. And right now he is a better quarterback than Will Levis in my opinion. You give this kid a guy like a Calvin Ridley that could take the top off the defense, is an excellent route runner, and he can give him the football on a consistent basis, we can see Drake May go out there and elevate his game as well. And he's elevating these wide receivers. You do have a guy in Jalen Polk as well. Hasn't done much this season. I understand that he's dealing with an injury right now. But there's something there with him as well coming over from Washington. He's the teammate of Roma Dunze. And he was playing with Michael Penix Jr. There's upside with him. But they need to bring in some wide receiving help. They need to bring in a veteran. They can go in the NFL, draft in the first round, draft a wide receiver. But going out there and bringing in a big-time veteran would definitely help out this team and would definitely help out Drake May. Look at what the, the division rivals did with Josh Allen. The Bills went out there. They, br they brought in Stephon Diggs. It helped develop him. They shipped him off. Now you know what Josh Allen is. I believe that a wide receiver of that stature can come in, help this kid out, help him see the field better, and will give him more help on the outside. But considering the fact with the degree of difficulty that this kid is going through, he has played very well. Yes, he threw those interceptions against the Houston Texans, but not every interception was his fault. We saw early in the video that first interception was an overthrow. And he had a lot of missed throws early on in the game. But in the second half, he was borderline perfect. This kid is doing the best that he can with a terrible offensive line. Ramondre Stevenson, he gives you good production. He's a catfish running back because when you look at his numbers, you'll think he's one of the better running backs in the NFL. And they gave him a contract extension for a reason. But he continues to fumble the football. They even benched him in favor of Antonio Gibson. Then they realize Ramondre Stevenson is so talented, you have to have him on the field. If he can just do a better job of taking care of the football, he can be a very good, reliable running back in the NFL. But the fumbles are killing him and it's killing this team as well. Hopefully he can do a better job in that department. But when I look at Antonio Gibson, a solid backup running back to have alongside a guy like Ramondre Stevenson, like I mentioned before, the offensive line needs a lot of work. I am disappointed in this defense, and I'm worried about Christian Barmore long term. For the ones that don't know, Christian Barmore has not played a single down this season. Christian Barmore is dealing with a blood clot issue. And the Patriots have prepared themselves for him not going out there and playing at all this season. I hope that he is OK personally first. And I hope that he can eventually return back to the field because that kid is a beast in the middle of the defense and they miss him. Look at what the Jacksonville Jaguars did to them yesterday. They ran the football repeatedly down their throat. You have a guy like Christian Barmore. He goes out there. He's an elite run stopper and he can get to the quarterback as well. He had eight and a half sacks the last time we saw him play. And he also helps out guys like Josh Uche. Josh Uche has been very disappointing this season. Josh Uche, a couple of years ago, in 2022, had 11 and a half sacks. Since then, he has not done much. He only has two sacks this season. I really wish that he could go out there and show that he could be a top pass rusher for the Patriots. A couple of years ago, he was that guy. Even last season, he did not show that ability to go out there and rush the passer at a consistent rate. And you could say that it was a different situation because Matthew Judon missed majority of last season dealing with a biceps injury. But at the same time, Josh Uche does not sh show the same bend that he once had. And I'm worried about him. Keon White, I like him a lot as a pass rusher. He's a very good player to have on this defense as well. Christian Gonzalez was elite last season before he got injured against the Dallas Cowboys. That was the same time that Matthew Judon got injured as well. Christian Gonzalez up to that point was a top cornerback in the NFL. This season, he hasn't been bad, but he hasn't been the same cornerback. I believe that this defense, they miss Bill Belichick a lot because he is still an elite defensive mind. The problem is with Bill Belichick, he just could not figure out the offense without Tom Brady. And speaking of Bill Belichick and coaching, Coach Mayo, this is a tough situation for any coach to be put into. I'm not saying fire Coach Mayo. 
But this team deals with a lot of penalties, defensively and offensively. They have to tone that down. Now, the players, they're not the best on this team. Now, I'm trying to be as respectful as possible. There's a lot of players on this team that shouldn't be in the NFL, in my opinion. But when I look at Coach Mayo, he's not making the right adjustments. He went out there. He wanted to stick with Jacoby Brissett as long as possible. They basically forced his hand to go out there and put in Drake May. Coach Mayo, I want to give him more time. Give him a couple of years. Try to figure things out. I wasn't alive for this, but I went back and looked at it. The, the Patriots pre-Drew Bledsoe, they were bad. They were in a terrible situation. So give this some time. So to see a guy like Drake May go out there and do his thing, it gives you a lot of faith and the rest of the team as well. But Coach Mayo does have to do a better job with these penalties and do a better job with defensive adjustments as well because he is a defensive head coach. He's a former linebacker for the Patriots, and he was a pretty good player as well. I'm not saying go out there and fire Coach Mayo, go out there and bring back Bill Belichick. No, because I do believe that Coach Mayo can't find success, but we will see. They have good players on the defense, like I mentioned before with Keon White. Devon Gotcha will never be a high sack count guy. He's a pure run stopper. So far, he's doing the best that he can, but he doesn't have his friend, Christian Barmore, playing alongside him. I look at Kyle Duggar as well. He's an underrated safety in my opinion. You also have Jabril Peppers as well. Right now, he's dealing with an injury. And Jabril Pe Peppers is a very good player. Excuse me, he's not dealing with an injury. He's dealing with something that happened off the field. And right now he's on the exempt list and he's going to miss the next couple of games. That sucks to see. Until that gets resolved, he's not going to play on the field. And he's a very good player to have in that secondary. So the Patriots right now are dealing with a lot of injuries. Same with Jawan Bentley right now. He's on IR. He's the best linebacker to have in that interior room with those linebackers. With that being said, I do think the Patriots' future is very bright. This team is obviously rebuilding. I would say give them the next two to three years to figure things out. At least you have Drake May. And if you are a Boston fan, if you root for the Red Sox and the Celtics and the Patriots, you have the Boston Celtics to look forward to. I'll say that. The Celtics just won an NBA championship last season. And I don't want to see Patriot fans complaining as much because you won six Super Bowls over the last 20 years. That's great. The organization may not be the same without Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, but you have this kid in Drake May, an exciting quarterback. And he already does look better than he already does look better than Mac Jones as well. And I go to that Jacksonville Jaguars game. Drake May did not turn the football over. He did a very good job of taking care of the football. He's doing the best that he can. And you stick with this kid as well. The offense in the red zone department was one of the worst offenses in the NFL. Right now it is statistically the worst. But I want to look at one more play. You look at this play right here. It's late in the game. Puts the ball in the red zone. Easy play, pick play by the offensive coordinator. Goes outside. It's an easy read for Drake May. But do you know how many quarterbacks will not be able to see the field? Mac Jones was one of them. Had a solid rookie season. Then after that, everything went out of control. Then Mac Jones also had a problem of taking care of the football. He did not show the same athletic ability as Drake May. So be patient with this kid. Be patient patient with the New England Patriots in the next couple of years, they could be in a better situation. But I do believe that the future is bright with Drake May. But let me know in the comment section below, how do you guys feel about Drake May and the New England Patriots moving forward? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last one of you guys stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. God bless. Peace.